Ano ba? Sit. Out here again with Lunabug. I uh, just got back from about a, a hour and a half bike ride today. Got back home, went to the store, got some stuff, got some canning jars for my brother and some stuff to make dinner. And now I'm out here getting a little bit more sunlight and uh, running my dog. Luna, come here. Leave those dogs alone. But, uh, you know, it feels really good to get exercise. I can't, ex I can't stress this enough, the importance of getting circulation. I know I repeat myself often on this channel, but certain things merit the need to be repeated. And that is one thing that you need in this matrix, especially if you've lived a sedentary life for the majority of your life. I mean, you really do need some, uh, some circulation. Luna bug, can you sit? Can you sit? Ah, sit. Good girl. But, uh, Anyways, aside from exercise, I've received a few questions from people in the last year about, you know, how, what, what got me interested in alternative healing? What got me interested in uh, naturalism and herbalism and uh, kundalini and all this stuff? And to be honest, the one thing that stimulated me more than anything, or the one thing that really initiated my fascination um, with spirituality and herbalism and all this stuff and health is... Uh, Cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper and riding my bike. Um, in my early 20s, I was severely unhealthy. Um, although I was uh, playing water polo and swimming and, and being fairly active, I was still overweight. And uh, you know, I was just leaving, living, um, Jesus, stumbling. I was leading a life that wasn't healthy. I was eating a ton of meat, uh, a ton of dairy, had a huge ego, I uh, was very conceited. And there was just some things in my life that needed to change. And, uh, you know, well, right around the time I started getting into cycling and losing weight, my dad brought home a book, a little yellow book about cayenne pepper and the health benefits of using cayenne pepper for the heart, you name it, the circulatory system. And, uh, you know, he said he was going to read it. He never ended up reading that book. It sat on the, uh, the coffee table quite a long time and one night I was watching TV back when I used to watch television and I kind of just thought to myself you know what the hell am I doing watching TV that book really spoke to me Lunabug and uh, I turned the TV off grabbed the book turned the lamp on behind me Luna you leave it and uh, started reading the book and about six hours later I had finished the book the sun was coming up and uh, I decided to uh, get some money together and go to the uh, the health food store once it opened. And I bought myself some uh, quality organic cayenne pepper, 90,000 heat unit African bird's eye cayenne pepper, 40,000 heat unit cayenne pepper, and 20,000 heat unit cayenne pepper. And uh, I was eager to experiment with it because of all the claims that were being made in this book. So I came home, uh, took a teaspoon, I believe of the 40,000 heat unit cayenne mixed it in a little water let it sit for about five minutes and drank it and I waited a few minutes and uh, I did start to feel a warming sensation in my chest I felt a massive surge of energy moving throughout my body and I just was overcome with this feeling that I had just done something very healthy for my body and uh, even after being up all night, that dose of cayenne pepper, <clears throat> excuse me, gave me so much energy that I got on my bicycle and just had a killer workout. Just, you know, climbing up hills. I noticed that my endurance was better, and uh, even though I had even slept the night before. So this, this initial experience motivated me to do my second dose of cayenne. And that dose of cayenne motivated me to do my next dose of cayenne, so on and so forth. And here I am years later, still talking about the health benefits of cayenne pepper for the circulatory system, you name it. And uh, I'm not just making these claims, you know, I, I've lived it. I've consumed so much cayenne pepper over the years. I've consumed, consumed so many habaneros, so many scotch bonnets, so many... Uh, Carolina Reapers, Thai Dragon Peppers, Naga Vipers, 
um, chocolate habaneros, you name it. I've, I'm a firm believer in the power of capsaicin and the power of using peppers for healing. It's without a doubt my favorite fruit. Luna Bug, where's your ball? Find your ball, dude. Where'd you drop it? Here it is. Yep. But, uh, you know, so, you know, that really did initiate my um, fascination with herbalism. And yes, cayenne pepper is a fruit. It's not technically a herb, but it's classified as a herb in herbal literature and uh, books on herbalism to keep things simple. Just like many um, berries are, you name it, and barks as well. But uh, after about a week of experimenting with cayenne pepper, I really sat down with myself and said, okay, if I'm experiencing such profound benefits from this one thing alone, what else can nature do for me? What, what can happen if I start experimenting with things like go to cola and alfalfa and spirulina, a fan of someone on flow with blue green algae, hibiscus, you name it. So I like to consider cayenne pepper my own personal gateway herb, my gateway uh, drug, so to speak, uh, as a play on words. It really got me interested in herbalism. Essentially, one experiment led to another experiment, which led to another experiment, which led to another and another and another. And I'm here years later, even more obsessed now than I was when I began my first in initial, my first initial experiments. So this isn't just something that I'm that I'm lightly into or that I'm kind of interested in. No, I've been obsessed since I started this, and uh, I'm almost dangerously obsessed with herbalism and uh, the occult, the supernatural, you name it. I, I really enjoy how it all kind of interweaves together because the more I work on the health, the more I realize that uh, there are heightened states of consciousness that can be achieved, in my opinion, through working on your health and uh, you know cleansing the body. So in my opinion, the body is the key to the mind and the mind is the key to the body. And the, both have, the, the two have to work inextricably together to produce results because the mind is like the uh, the body is neutral so to speak the body is neutral it listens to the mind so your, your body really uh, excuse me stumbling your immune system is listening to your mind it's 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 listening to your emotional state so I mean uh, if your mind's out of whack uh, you know you'll do things that aren't salubrious to your health such as uh, remain addicted to certain things that are unhealthy. So, all decision, all decision, all decisions, Jesus, that you make physically start in the mind as an idea. And you entertain that idea in the mind through physical action because, again, the body is the remote control vehicle of the mind. So, a huge part of my protocol is getting the mind right, and a great way to do that, in my opinion, is to start cleansing and to start contemplating the things you've been clinging to. Luna bug. So just a brief little rant again. Cayenne pepper was the gateway herb, the gateway fruit. It really stimulated me and, and, and allowed me to experience the efficacy of nature as a healing tool. So, and you know, the closer, the more I used cayenne and the more herbs that I consumed, the more I developed an appreciation for nature because I was consuming her in her raw forms. And, uh, you know, in my opinion, consuming herbs, utilizing herbalism, it's a form of alchemy and it allows you to get closer to the earth because you're consuming the things that she grows for us. So. I love life. I, I love using cayenne pepper. I love using things like go to cola, also known as Centella asiatica or Centella asiatica. I love Bacopa monieri, also known as Bacopa monieri brahmi. Um, go to cola is considered a brahmi. Brahmi means to elevate the consciousness, and there are a few herbs out here, especially when they're made into an extract that when you consume, you can really feel a profound upliftment of the mind, and uh, you can feel brain stimulation for sure. Um, go to cola is good for the nerves, it's good for the brain, it's good for the spinal system. Um, it's used heavily to uh, 
combat the uh, effects of senility, such as Alzheimer's, you name it. So It's great when mixed with Bacopa and things like ashwagandha um, and eleuthero, rhodiola, ginseng, you name it. So, I mean, uh, it's just, I'm like a mad scientist living in this crazy world using my body as a biological laboratory to attempt to attain new heightened states of consciousness by adhering to simple laws of nature, the immutable laws of nature. <laughs> so to wrap this one up, I hope that gives you guys some clarity. Again, a few people have asked over the last year or so what really uh, initiated my journey to health. It was me getting on a bike um, and me beginning to apply herbalism to my life. Herbalism was really the essential key. A lot of people neglect herbalism within the, uh, the raw food movement and within veganism. Uh, many people will adopt things like green juicing and uh, using teas and things of that nature, but uh, to actually approach the realm of herbalism and to begin applying it as a tool of preventative medicine, you can learn a lot about yourself you can learn a lot about nature and uh, you can really learn about just how powerful herbs are by consuming them. That's the only way you're going to, to that's the only way you're ever going to know. You know, you could read herbal literature, you could read about uh, enlightened herbalists from the past, these yogis. Uh, you can read about the immortals and all this other stuff, these people who use things like uh, lyceum, also known as wolfberry, also known as uh, goji berries. Um, there's so much fascinating herbal legends out there about uh, enlightened masters who utilized herbalism to uh, attain new states of consciousness and to keep the corporeal body, the corpus, the physical protoplasm, this physical machine, this human body, alive and well for a very long period of time. Drop it, bug. So, on behalf of the Sacred Starseed Serpent Uraeus channel, I hope that this video and this message in my channel can help inspire you to do something beneficial towards your health today, such as getting some sunlight, cleaning your skin with the skin cleaning solutions, uh, adopting some cleansing protocols, get yourself an enema bag, keep an eye out if you're interested for my upcoming ebook on enemas. I've been working on this uh, periodically on and off for the last year or so, and I am getting ready to release it. People keep asking me about my uh, Kundalini health protocol. Essentially, I've decided to make that free and I've, I've uh, essentially just... Sometimes I'm so passionate about what I'm talking about that the words come out too quick. Let's rephrase that. I've decided to make all the content of my protocol available for free, for free and I'll be releasing it slowly um, in the future. I already have. You can adopt my protocol simply by watching my videos and applying some of the lessons that I teach in these videos. So I'm not claiming to be a health master or some enlightened guru, no. I'm just claiming to be a dude who's experienced positive effects from getting away from animal products, getting away from eating meat, and uh, you know, using, utilizing herbalism. I do believe in herbalism. And if you couple herbalism with a clean diet, you're even gonna get more out of it, especially if you do that with a quality exercise regimen. And that's one of the keys. Peace be with you.